Good evening, Lewis. How are you doing? Hi, good evening. How are you? Fine. Fine, I'm fine. All right, good. What's How new today? A lot of work. Oh, yes? Yes, just to, to, to let the table clean before the the vacations. Oh yeah, vacations. Are you going to have vacations? Yes, we're taking the, well, I'm taking the whole week. Okay. Officially, well, you know that we have vacation, um, month when do you have vacation with the class? For the class, I don't, I don't know. We will have vacation. I will, I will check that right now for you. I guess we won't have. And normally you have classes from Monday to Thursday, correct? To Thursday, yes. yes. Monday to Thursday. Okay. Where's everybody today? Victor, Samuel, Albert, and Brenda? Noe? Let's wait one minute, maybe the rest will come. So tell me, what else did you do today? How was your day? My case, it's been, it's, it's been a, little, a little calm. I've been in the office and doing some reports and nothing else. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, who was I speaking with right now? Foster. Foster. Oscar. Foster. Foster. Oh Foster. Okay. No, I don't I don't see the light when you speak. Um hold on. Brenda say hi. Hi. Okay now I see. <laughs> now I see the light. Hi, Brenda. Hi, Foster. Hmm. How are you, Brenda? How was your day today? I'm fine. My day was good. I am on vacation. Hmm. I start vacation today. Oh, man. What are your plans? Um, stay at home. Oh, yeah. I, I, there's oh, no... Whole week. There are not that many options, correct? Right. Today we went to to the super with my with my mom. It was full, many, a lot of people in the super. Um, where do you live? I'm sorry, Brenda, I forgot. I live in Santa Tecla. You know which supermarket I recommend you go? Uh, do one? you do you have a car? Yes, I have. Go to Multiplaza. Okay, that's that a good super, option. That supermarket is always, always empty. Okay, thank you. And you should park outside where the uh, bus stops are by the Panamericana Street. Right. Uh, have, have you seen the cars parked there? Yes, I. Okay. I see. All, the par all the cars you see there are in the supermarket. So if you see 20 cars, only 20 people are in the supermarket. And the supermarket is very big. So yeah. um, that's my favorite supermarket. I go there or Las Cascadas because normally uh -huh. they are always empty. Yeah. Because where I live, the closest supermarket I have is by Stadio Cuscatlan. But mm -hmm. man, that's always full. I usually go to the La Cañada. Oh, I don't know where that is. Is it Marliot? Oh, okay. La Cañada. It's in the circle. Super selective. Uh, oh, near yeah. Near San Martin. San Martin. Yeah, uh, oh, I, I, I didn't know that it's called La Cañada. But that one's always full, huh? Sometimes. Do you know why? I don't know. <laughs> because you have to analyze. 
by la cañada around there there are many houses so people yeah. can go walking but if you go to multiplaza there are no houses around so only people with cars go there yeah that's why it's always more empty um because where i live here um by vista hermosa in the stadium uh, it's always full because people around the supermarket people that live there they just go walking and it's better of course but i i have no patience i don't like to make lines so i just rather go to multiplaza and even even dollar city in multiplaza is always empty so i i, re I recommend you to go there thank you yeah all right, I see a new person. I don't know, uh, Bertha. Bertha Carballo, are you there? Yes, hi. Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thanks. Are you new? How are you? Uh, no, yesterday I'm in, but uh, the other uh, computer. Oh, uh, okay. What was your name yesterday? Uh, Carballo. <laughs> oh, it was only Carballo? Hmm. Oh, okay. Oh, no, no, Maria Carballo, the registrate. Oh, okay. Yeah, because Berta, I've never seen Berta, so that's new. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Nice, Berta. Oh, and I see it's that my you... second day. <laughs> yeah, good. And I see you have a picture. Thank you. So now I know who is Berta. Noé. Jaime, Luis, Foster the people, Josue, and Luis Enrique. I see your faces. Thank you. Good night. Good night. You're leaving? No, you're leaving. Sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Hello, Oscar. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm fine. I'm fine. All right. Okay, so let's start. Remember, what did we do yesterday? Do you remember? We are talking about, well, we were talking about the pa passive voice. And we talk about a simple present, simple <coughs> past, and past participle. Okay, all right. And when do you use a passive voice or active voice? Or active voice. Very good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Noe, do you remember when to use an active voice? What is the difference? Um, maybe you can give me the, um, the definition. Remember, there are two definitions. There's the grammatical definition, and we have the logical. Rene and Noe, do you remember the grammatical definition for the difference of active and passive? No, teacher, sorry. I couldn't stay in class yesterday because I worked. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Okay. No, no, sorry. no problem. Okay. No, no problem. Flor, Flor, you were in class yesterday, correct? Good night. Yes. Yes, I do. Yes, I was. Yes, I was. Sorry. No, no, it's okay. Uh, Flor, what is the difference between an active and passive voice? What is an active voice, grammatically uh, speaking? What is the grammar explanation? And the passive voice is... Uh, active. Uh, active voice is, is uh, uh, um, present, simple present, and, and passive voice is... Uh, um, a bear in the past. Mm, okay, yes and no. Remember, in an active and passive voice, the tense is really not important. What is important in an active or passive voice? Yesenia? Hello, good Hi. evening. Good evening. <laughs> we say that, that active voice, the subject is in the beginning of the sentence. 
and okay. in the passive voice, the subject is in the end at the sentence. Okay, very good, yes. And the second difference, uh, whoever you want to be important, the subject or the object. Yeah, okay, good, thank you. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, it was very good. You know what? Can you give me that explanation again? <laughs> no, it, it was a very good explanation, but if you give it to me again, I know that it will, the explanation is going to be better. Okay. Uh, so let me ask you, Yesenia, um, mm -hmm. what is an active voice? Okay, I don't remember. You, you did it good the first time. Okay, but I was talking about the difference. Yeah, no, if I ask you, Yesenia, you're my teacher. What is an active voice? Okay, I have zero. <laughs> the grammar explanation, you said it. The subject is first, okay. the object is last. The act, okay. And then in the active voice, the subject is in the beginning of the sentence. Okay. And in the past and in wait, the passive voice. No, no, but I'm still the, I'm sorry, but I'm still okay. in the active voice. I'm not asking the passive okay. voice. So it's good. So an act an active voice is the subject is first and the object is last. It's last, yes. Oh, okay. And what is the passive voice? It, in the passive voice, the subject is in the end of the sentence and the object is at the beginning. Oh, okay. So that's the grammatical explanation. Hmm. So what's the difference yes. then? Can you repeat the question? Yes, so what is the difference then? Grammatic. Or no, no, you, you, you gave me the grammatical explanation. Now give me mm -hmm. the logical explanation. So what is the difference? Ah, the logical explanation is whoever you want to be important, the subject or the object. So if I want to make the object important, what what voice do I speak? Passive voice. Passive, oh, okay. And if I want to make the subject important, what voice do I speak? Passive voice. Okay, good, very good. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Francisco Grimaldi, are you there? Yes, I am. How are you? Fine, and you? I'm all right. Thank you. Uh, Francisco, nice. Francisco, can you tell me what is the difference between I and me? Um, I is a pronoun. Okay. Personal pronoun. Okay. And me is object pronoun. Okay, so then the two are pronouns. The two what? are pronouns, but the but you... When we use me when the pronoun is an object. Okay. And I? When it's a subject. Oh, okay. So I use I when I do the action, and I use me when I receive the action, right? Right. Oh, okay. All right. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, Gloria, are you there? Hi, teacher. How are you? I am fine. And you, Gloria, how are you? I'm fine. I'm very stressful. Very stressed. Why? Uh, because the work uh, this day is the uh, end of the month. And the work is very ha heavy. Heavy. Okay. Heavy, exactly. Yeah. Um, where do you work? I'm sorry, I forgot. I work in Tigo. Oh, in Tigo, yes. yes. Okay. In what department in Tigo? In collection, teacher. Oh, yeah. So it's business very collection. Yeah. So at the end <laughs> of the month, it's it's very difficult. Exactly. It's the group work. Yeah. Oh man. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, Gloria. Hello, Gloria? Yes, teacher. I um, can you tell me which is the correct way? 
you and me are going to go to the store and buy a chicken. I'm sorry, you and me are going to go to the supermarket and buy a chicken, or you and I are going to go to the store and buy a chicken. Which is the correct one? Uh, the correct is you and I. Why? Uh, because uh, both is the participating in the action. Mm. And both uh, is the subject for okay, the yeah. action. Yes, it's actually that. Because you and I are the subjects. Yes. Because in... in in the other sentence, still, I mean, in, in, in active and passive, we always participate. But I, this is actually you and I, because you and I are the subjects. Okay? Okay. Okay, that, that was good. That was good. Thank you. Mr. Hey, Mr. Mahano. Tell me, teacher. How are you? Fine, thank you. What about you? I am fine to thank you. Uh, Mr. Mahano, I remember that in this moment you are not working, correct? Yes, and I'm an employee. And um, you have one daughter, two daughters, correct? Mm, hypothetical case? <laughs> uh huh. No, it's, it's my, it's, it's, it's a really, it's a really. No, but you, you have two daughters or, or? No, a boy and a girl. Oh, you have two children. Okay, you have a boy and a girl. Okay, okay. Um, okay, well, I remember, um, boy is he, and what is the object of he? Uh, sorry? What is the object of he? The object of he, him. Him. It's him. Okay, good. Um, Jaime. Alfredo Aviles, are you there? Yes. How are you? I feel good, and you? I'm all right. I like your background. What is that? It's a cavern. <laughs> it's a cabin. A cabin, <laughs> yes. Where are you, in Ataco <laughs> or Canada? Uh, um, maybe Canada. All right, okay. <laughs> um, oh, my God, I forgot my question for you. I had a question for you. Oh, okay. Um, do you remember that in, in history, in El Salvador, we had a war with Honduras, correct? A war? Yeah. Yes, I remember a little bit. Yeah, it was a small war. I think it was like one week. The, the oh, war of the football? Oh, I yeah. Know. I the, yeah, the excuse, the excuse, it was the soccer game. <laughs> But yeah. I don't I don't know what happened really. Did we attack Honduras first or they attacked us? Mm, I I think uh, we at, we attacked second of second. Of second. No, no, but li listen to my pronouns. Did we attack them or they attacked us? They we attack them. So we attack them first. Yes. Oh, okay. Good. We attack first. So we did the action, right? We attacked Honduras. Okay. Yeah, and then that's how you practice um, active and passive. So um, one thing that I was speaking with Gloria is. Um, Pretty much the difference of an active and passive voice is who you want to make important. The subject or the object. So if you want to make the subject important, then you always speak active voice. But if you want to make the object important, you always speak passive voice. Now, we're going today we're going to practice passive voice without the... Um, subject. We're just making the object important. Okay. So okay. Um, I'm going to share my screen with you. I hope today you can see it.
Okay, Albert. Okay, do you see my screen? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. teacher. Okay. Yes, now, I can see. I think I think there's an option here that gives me audio. Can you hear my screen right now? Yes, teacher. A little, a little uh, teacher. You can I hear can't. it? I can I hear. hear it. No, I can't. No, no I can't. No, I can hear it. the screen. You can't hear the lady. I can. No. No. Why? Um, I want to know why. I think you have to share the computer audio. Where would that be? When when you when you share, share the the desktop, the screen. Uh, you can have the the sound. Where I was doing that Be before the class, I was really looking into this. Let me see. Inhabilitar anotaciones. Let me see. Compartir. Oh, okay. There you go. Can you yes. hear it now? No, I, no, I yes. yes, I can. Oh, oh my God! It was that easy. Oh man, I feel stupid. <laughs> okay, there you go. Okay, uh, please listen to this. Um, I'm going to play the video. If you have any questions, please stop me, okay? If okay. you do not understand the video, it's okay. At least I need a 10% that you understand and I will explain the rest, okay? So um, I'm going to put the video and the audio. study passive with by. But before we go deep into the topic, let me tell you what passive voice does to a sentence. Passive emphasis on a sentence. Say the same thing in a different way. You may be one voice does to a sentence. Passive voice changes the emphasis on a sentence. In other words, we may say the same thing in a different way. You may be wondering when to use it. Passive voice is the best way to express an idea when, number one, we don't know who did the action, number two, there's no doer of an action, and number three, the fact is more important than the doer of an action. As always, I will ask you to stay around and stay for the explanation. We will compare active with passive, so you see the difference and notice the emphasis on each one. We will give you examples of each use as well as the structure of passive voice. Passive with by, simple past. The passive changes the focus of a sentence. For the simple past, use the past of be plus past participle. Active. The president opened the building in 1931. Passive. It was opened by the president in 1931. Active. An American architect designed the building. Passive. It was designed by an American architect. I have this scrabble sentence. Hello? Hello? Hi. I have this uh, scramble sentence I for you. I have a question. Do you uh, see it was part? designed by an American architect. Here, this is pretty much telling you how to use it. For example, look, the, uh, the president opened the building in 1931. 
So it was opened by the president in 1931. What is it? A building. building. Okay, good. Building or a subject. I don't know. I, I think it's the subject. It's the object, actually. Object. Object. Okay, what is, what this is actually saying that sometimes, sometimes there are certain situations that you don't need to mention the name of the object. So you only, you only, <coughs> you only say it. But what, what is the situation? Imagine you come to my house and you see a beautiful painting on the wall and you say, wow, that's a beautiful painting. And I just say, oh, you like it? Thank you. It was painted by my sister. What is it? You are talking about the house. The painting. Paint. 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 The painting. But the reason why I did not say painting again, because it was introduced. It was introduced by you. It was what it was what we were talking about. So let's say hi, you come like let's say, okay, you knock on my door. I open the door. Hello, come in, sit down. Oh, thank you. And then you you look at a painting and you say, Wow, what a beautiful painting, teacher. And I say, Oh, thank you, student. It was painted by my sister. In this situation, I use it because it's obvious we are talking about the painting. Mm -hmm. Yes? Yes. 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 But it's okay to also say, oh, yes, that painting was painted by my sister. It's okay. You can say that too. I would prefer you to say that too because you practice more. When you really speak more fluently, then you can just say it. Okay. For example, in this second example, it says an American architect designed the building. It was designed by an American architect. But why did we use it? Because in the other sentence, we know that it is, what is it? The building. So I'm going to give an example and um, And you tell me the passive voice, okay? Okay, teacher. All right, let's do this. Um, Oscar. Oscar hey. Guevara, hi. Hi, hi. The verb is right, right. Right. So imagine I tell you, man, November rain, it was, it's a beautiful song. Yes, it was written by Guns N' Roses. Okay, very good. It was written by Guns N' Roses. But why did you say it? Because I introduced the subject, right? Yes. So in this case, you don't need to repeat the subject because it's obvious is the song. Mm -hmm. Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, Brenda. Yes. Hi. Hi. Um, El Hospital El Salvador is very big. Imagine. What 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 can you say as an active voice? A passive voice. So listen to this. Brenda, today I passed by La Feria, by Cifco, and I saw the hospital así se llama, right? Hospital El Salvador. Yes. And I saw yeah. Hospitals El Salvador and it's big. What can you tell me there? It was it was uh, open for translate. How do you say patients? Patients. Patient from another hospital. 
Oh, okay, very good. Oh, really? Thank you. I didn't know that. Very good. You see, that that's a very good... And I know this was difficult, Brenda, because with Oscar, I gave him the verb. I said, Oscar, the verb is right. And I said, November Rain is a beautiful song. So he said it was written by Guns N' Roses. But with you, Brenda, I, it was a little bit more difficult because you are open. Like, what do I say? So my comment was, oh, I passed by Sifco and I saw Hospital El Salvador is very big. And you said, oh, yes. It was made for the COVID patients, or it was made express. It was made in three months or four months. I don't know how many months. Okay. It was built in Russell it was, currently it was for built. the pandemic. Yes, okay, good. It was built especially for the pandemia. Okay, so do you understand how sometimes it's not necessary to mention the, pa the, the object? Yes. But um, the subject, I'm sorry, it's not necessary to mention the subject when it's introduced. Yes, so imagine Imagine you invite me to your house. Berta. Berta? Yes. Hi, Berta. Yes. Imagine I am Hi. in your house and you gave me a banana cake. Okay, I'm not cooked, yeah. but I, I'm okay. <laughs> okay, yeah, but that's good. But you served me a banana cake and I said, mm, okay. Berta, this was good. This was very good. Thank you. It was made for you. It was made for you? Okay, good. But by who made it? Your mother, uh, your sister? For my mother. Okay, good. So so one more time. It was made okay. by my it mother. Was, it, it was made of my mother. By my mother. By my mother, okay. Yeah, because it's passive voice. Okay. Active is, my mother made the banana cake. Yes, but now we're speaking passive. So let's repeat the situation one more time, Berta. I am eating in your house. Oh, mm, this is good banana, banana cake. Thank you. It was made by mm. my mother. Really, your mother is an excellent chef. Thank you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Very good. Do you understand? Yes. Yes. So one more time. Um, like I said, here in the example, you said you see the president opened the building in 1931. And it was opened by the president in 1931. Imagine if I say this. Can you see can you see my screen? I have word. Can you see it? Yes. Yes. Okay. Imagine I say this. It was painted by my friend. Do you understand this? No, I, I see the background blue only. You only see blue? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Okay, well, I, I don't need to write. You should stop the share screen and yeah. try to share again. Yeah, okay, no, but okay, imagine I say, um, Imagine I say, Carlos Asensio, are you there? Hi, teacher. Hi. OK, Carlos, imagine I say, oh, thank you. It was painted by my brother. What do you think is the active? Sorry, repeat. Oh, thank you. It was painted by my brother. This is on passive voice. Right. Good, but, but what is it? 
Ah, uh, the painting. No, because I said it was painted by my brother. Remember, you paint houses, you paint cars, you paint paintings, you paint your hair. <laughs> yes, that's true. Yeah, I don't have the context to... to exactly. To thank you. So in this case, it really doesn't sound good because I just said, oh, thank you. It was painted by my brother. And I'm talking about my car. So you need to introduce the subject if you're going to not um, mention the subject in a passive voice. Yes? Now, now listen to the difference. Carlos. Yes? Do you like my car? Uh, yes, I like your car. Oh, thank you. It was painted by my brother. Oh, wow. Well, it's beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, imagine. <laughs> right? Okay, but do you see the difference here? You, you need to yes, introduce. I have a context. Yes, you need to introduce what is the subject. Okay, now, um, but so here we're going to practice by. So I want any, everybody to think of an example like we're doing right now. Um, for example, if I see. Let me see, let me see, what do I see here? Okay, like the example I gave um, Berta, I think. Berta, thank you very much for the banana bread. So she said, oh, thank you, it was made by my mother. Okay, I'm going to give an example to Daniel. Daniel, are you there? Yes. Daniel, those pupusas were great. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. it, it, it was made by my, by me. By me. Yes. Okay, by good. You. Yeah, you know, you could say my mother or my, by, by you, okay. No, I, I believe I you. Could pupusas. <laughs> okay. But I, I said something different here because pupusas is plural, correct? What is the plural of it? It. The plural, because pupusa, they, they exactly. They. they. So, uh -huh, so I said, man, Daniel, those pupusas were good. And he said, oh, thank you. They were made by me. They were made by me. Okay, thank you. No, no problem, yeah. Okay, let me see Osvaldo. Are you there, Osvaldo? Hmm? Can you hear me, Osvaldo? Yes, I can hear you. Okay, Os Osvaldo, that's a beautiful picture. Or excuse me, that's a beautiful photo. Uh, thank you. Um, it was taken by my brother. Oh, really? Wow, your brother is really, really good. Very good. Thank you, Osvaldo. That was great. Thank you. Hey, good people. You, I see you understand. Um, Flor, are you there? Excuse me? Okay, good. Uh, Flor. Hello? Hello? Hi. Imagine, Flor, I like your nails. I, I, you like your nails? I like your nails. Thank you. Um, it was my... Uh, it, it, it was by my, my sister. Okay, but I need a verb. The verb is make 
So in passive, what is the passive of make? Made. Made. Mm -hmm. it, so, it, it was made by my sister. Okay, good. But one more thing. Nails is plural. So they yeah. were. They were. They were made by my sister. Excellent. Very good. You know, today I had a little accident. Class, um, I don't know if you can see my screen. Yeah. My screen? Yes. Do you say I have a tablet? My yes. tablet, yes. my my tablet has a very big crack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a very big crack. And it was made by my son today. Uh, sorry, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts. That's it things like happen. <laughs> yeah, and I said <laughs> when I saw it, I'm like, oh my god, what happened? And I saw my son and he immediately hugged me. <laughs> so, okay, and, and that was, and, and this is a true example, but do you see what I said? Oh man, look at my tablet. There's a big crack. What happened? I don't know, but it was made by my son. So what is the it? The crack, right? Okay, so, now let's watch the video one more time and see if we can understand it better, okay? So I'm going to go back to the video. Please tell me if you can hear it. I think you can. Issues as well as the structure of yes. past voice. Okay. Passive with by, simple past. The passive changes the focus of a sentence. For the simple past, use the past of be plus past participle. Active. The president opened the building in 1931. Passive. It was opened by the president in 1931. Active. An American architect designed the building. Passive. It was designed by an American architect. I have this scramble sentence for you. My sister, this book, in 2010. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Okay. Um, who likes to read here? Who Who likes to read? Read teacher Luis Enrique. Luis Enrique. Um. I love Don Quixote. It's my favorite book. Oh, that's right. I like too. Um, I don't know who read in that book, but uh, I think it was it was written it was written by the by Cervantes. Uh, Cervantes. Miguel oh, Cervantes. yes, I remember. Miguel Cervantes. Yes, <laughs> I remember. Okay, but very good. Yeah. But very good, thank you. I love that example. So I said, oh man, I love Don Quixote. It's my favorite book. And he said, oh, it's a very nice book. It was written by Cervantes. Very good. Mm -hmm. um, let me see, let me see. Who have I, Jaime. Tell me. Hello. Oh man. My favorite, my favorite invention, Jaime, or in my opinion, the most important invention in history is electricity. Yes, it's true. It was uh, invited, uh, no, uh, invented, invented, invented by Thomas, Thomas Alba Edison. Very excellent, man. Yeah, my, Mr. Edison. Uh, that is true. Very good. All right, nice. I like that. Let me see. Who should I ask now? Gloria, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay. 
Um, what happened? According according to the Bible, to the Bible, Jesus died. Correct. Yes. What happened? No, but please don't give me the complete explanation or the Bible. Just <laughs> according to the Bible, to the story. <laughs> according to the Bible, Jesus died. What happened? It died. It was dying. Okay. Um, one one okay. thing here, very important. Since Jesus is a person, you okay. have to say he. He was dying um, um, for we? Or by, by um, we? By us. By us. Yeah, but one thing. Jesus, according to the Bible, Jesus, Jesus was killed yes yes yeah. jesus jesus he was murdered was murdered by the romans yeah okay good he was murdered by the romans or he was crucified he was crucified, by, he was crucified. Mm -hmm. by the romans okay yeah you see those are examples okay let me see um uh, noe Hello, Noe. How are you? Hello. I'm fine. Man, I love, I don't know who invented Cuba Libres, but they're good. Mm, it was made, it, it, it was made by Cubans? It, it was invented by Cubans. Uh, it was invented by Cubans. Really? Good. Yeah. I yeah. suppose. <laughs> no, it was. It was. It was invented by Cubans. Because a long time ago, Cuba and United States, they were friends. Ah, yes. I and um, I think Cuba had problems with Spain. Mm -hmm. So United States said, hey, Cuba is our friend. You want problems with Cuba? You have problems with me and blah, 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 blah. So Cuba said, thank you, United States. What is the most popular drink of the United States? Coca-Cola. What is the most popular <laughs> drink of Cuba? Rum. So let's mix. And there you go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cuba Libre, España. Mm. That was actually um, the, the true invention. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have heard that Cuba it was like, like, like Las Vegas. Yeah, it was. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen the movie The Godfather? Yes. Yeah, I think it was part part two. Mm -hmm. In part two, it was interesting because they talk about casinos. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see, let me see. Daniel Fernando Aguirre, hello. Hello. How are you? Hi. Do you like soccer? Yes, a lot, a lot. The most beautiful goal in the history of soccer? Who? Uh, he, it was made by Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Uh, which one? The which one? With, that was made in, with with in England. Yeah, I think. Zlatan, the killer. Yeah. Yes. I think the the best goal in history was made by Messi. Cristiano Ronaldo. <laughs> oh please. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was made by Roberto she, Carlos. She adored <laughs> Roberto Carlos. She adored Ronaldo. Excellent. But you see, you see, the problem is that every goal Cristiano Ronaldo has, Cristiano Ronaldo is a, is a monster, man. 
He's a beast. Yes. But every right. goal, every goal he has made, Messi has made that goal. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. If you analyze, remember when Cristiano Ronaldo jumped and hit the ball? That was a beautiful goal. Messi has made a similar goal. But if you if you see the good goals from Messi, like remember the one to Atletico de Madrid, I think it was, that he the complete court. I think he took like 11 players and he made the goal. You never seen Ronaldo make a goal like that. So yes. Messi is the best. Mm. <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, I'm joking. It's okay. No, no, in my opinion, yeah, maybe, maybe Roberto Carlos has made one of the best goals in history. Yes. Uh, Flor Duran. Michael Gonzalez. Mexico too. Hmm. I'm sorry, Oscar. Oscar. Hi, hi. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to ask Oscar Guevara right now, actually. Okay. Um. The national anthem of El Salvador is very beautiful. The national anthem. Anthem. The national anthem. Da -na -na -na. Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, yes, it's very beautiful. It was written by I don't remember. <laughs> oh, help him, help him, Josue Perez, help him. I don't know what is that meaning. Is it? It, was made, it was made. We were by, talking about them by who? <laughs> Bonnie. Bad Bunny. Yeah. Let me see. Oh my God! Nobody. Hey, Juan Jose Cañas. Oh, oh yeah, Mr. Google. Yes. <laughs> He's my best friend's song many times. <laughs> All right. But it's, it's true. The anthem is very beautiful, and sometimes the people compare with the French. Anthem, the French anthem is the first best of the war, and the anthem of El Salvador, the people consider is the third one. Yes, like the third one. Yes, it's true. Mm -hmm. I like the one from England. Dun, 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 yes, dun, dun. I like that one. It's nice. All right, hey, Josue Perez, hello. Josue, are you there? Yes. Yes, teacher, I'm here. You know, the, I was watching a, a TV show that in Texas, people from Honduras, they say that the national food of Honduras are pupusas. Okay. What do you think? They say that they invented pupusas. I, I'm saying they are grown. It was made by Salvadorian. They were invented. They were, they they were invented, invented by, by Salvadorian. Salvadorian. Okay, good, yeah. They were invented by the Salvadorian pipiles, right? No. Oh, no. What no. was it? Now what? No. What, what, what mm. were we? Incas. Depends of the area. Yeah. Oh my God! I really need a history class again. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think uh, people. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. We need we need English and history class. <laughs> 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 okay, but very good. I, I see that you understand, right? No problem. So let's finish the video. Okay, finish the video, and now it's gonna be easier for you. Okay, so I'm going to put play. Okay. And wrote, can you try to scramble the sentence and make sense of it? I will give you 15 seconds. Great. 
So we came up with, my sister wrote this book in 2010. Now in English, we can say the same things in another way. Let's work with another scramble sentence and let's do the same and scramble it and make sense of it. This time, I will give you 20 seconds. My sister, this book, by, in 2010, written, was. What do you think it is? This book was. This book was written by my sister. This book was written by my sister. This book was written by my sister in 2010. All right. Were you able to do it? I hope you did. Yeah, my class did it perfectly. Good. Good for you, class. <laughs> that was like my example. This tablet was broken today by my son. Watching Bleepy. Okay. Do you want to see my coffee cup? Look. No. Oh my god. Oh, that's a nice cup. It's big. It's big, yes. I drink. It's very big. Yes, it's very big. It's almost, it's the, it's almost the size of my face. Look. <laughs> that, that was you, your kid is very uh, hyper. hyper. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, maybe that's the reason why. That was the reason. Yeah, maybe that is the reason why my kid is hyper. <laughs> okay, a very good class. I'm very happy that you understood today. Do you have any questions? Someday, wow. someday, maybe in the future, we can see each other in person, and 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 in person is better because we can interact. So we should have lunch one day, in the class, or a picnic. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So do you have any questions right now? Teacher? Yes. Yeah. Last no teacher. Okay, tomorrow, Flor. Tomorrow we are going to have a class? Um no. Supposedly no. I'm sorry, I I you have my telephone number, right? Today I'm going to make I'm going to make, please send me a WhatsApp with your name. I have I have like two or three students I think. I am but, a little bit confused because <clears throat> someone sent us an email and the email says the class is going to be from Monday to Friday. Mm -hmm. But yes, the last Tuesday. WhatsApp says Monday and Thursday, the same with the last module. Exactly. This is why I am a little confused too. I saw I saw that WhatsApp today, so um, I don't know if it's only for us or in general for all the other classes. So I will check that today. I will check that today. And um, so what I want you to do, if if you could please uh, send me a WhatsApp. Send you, me can, a, you can send a, a message. To confirm the exactly the class in the in the WhatsApp group. WhatsApp group, yes. It's, it's okay, better. yeah, yeah, it will be better too, right? Okay. I will do that today. Uh, I will do that tomorrow, in the morning or in the um, before lunch. Okay. 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 That was a good right. So, do you have any other questions? Daniel. No, Daniel. Please. Daniel Fernando Aguirre. Yes. You look very happy in that picture. Oh, thank you. It, that was my my account of the last job I have. Pepsi. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, I thought you were going to say, oh, thank you. It was taken by my coworker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, but that was good. Okay, class. Um, uh, please expect my, my message tomorrow, if we will have classes or not. I, I will send you the um, message, okay? 
Okay. 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 Thank, Thank you, teacher. Okay, teacher. Thank, Thank you, night. teacher. Thank you very much. Thank you have you. a good night, okay? Thank you. Okay. Good night. Good night, good night, good night everybody. Bye -bye. Tomorrow. I'm going to cry for my tablet. <laughs> <laughs> you. You're not the only one teacher. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm trying to cry. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's a common. It's a common I, I watch Netflix on my phone. Sounds... <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, bye bye. Bye bye. bye. Take care. Bye.